the day and I'm really um, lucky because I have time today to scoot on over really quickly to H Mart. I have been dying to go there for some time and I really need to go. I'm not necessarily going there um, for like groceries, but I am out of or close to out of my um, crazy shampoo. I am I am a Japanese shampoo convert, and I'm close to finished with that uh, peach peach shampoo, and I need to get another another bag of it. Um, and I saw, you know, you can buy it on Yes Style or on Amazon, but it comes from Japan. That'll take forever, so um, you know, it's much faster for me to get it locally. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, I shampoo my hair every night, even though I don't use soap on my body. I know that 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 comment a few vlogs back elicited a lot of queries, but I don't use soap on my body, but I do shampoo my hair every, every night, mostly for my scalp. Uh, you know, the scalp has an incredibly high density of sebaceous oil glands, um, and so frequent shampooing is actually encouraged, despite the, uh, despite what all the beauty magazines will have you saying about the no poo method. Now, I know, I realize and appreciate greatly that that, that shampooing frequently does not does not uh, work for all hair types. I completely, completely understand that. But, uh, you know, for purposes of, for my hair, I can hack it. And uh, for purposes of controlling things like dandruff, seborrhea, uh, itchy scalp, sh frequent shampooing is, uh, is actually recommended. Ideally, you know, if I'm being a complete nerd and, you know, giving conservative recommendations, it would obviously be with the fragrance-free shampoo, but, we all know I love to have fragrance in my shampoo because I am a human being after all and I like my head to smell fruity. So I, I, I'm I loving this this crazy shampoo here. I'm just gonna do, I'm just do a Vidal Sassoon moment here even though I hate wearing my hair down. I mean, I've been using it for a long time now. Um, my hair really needs a, a cut or a trim or something. I'm kind of thinking of growing it out, but um, I swear my hair is just, um, a lot softer and smoother uh, since I've been using it and normally when I buy a shampoo or use a shampoo my hair is fantastic for the first few weeks of using it and then you get that sort of build up and your hair kind of gets used not used to it but you get that build up and it's no longer it no longer does it for you and you have to switch I have not found that to be the case with the crazy shampoos or the Japanese shampoos and I was really on the fence about trying them because uh, I thought you know my hair type might uh, not be the same as Japanese is not the same as Japanese hair hair texture that it might not handle the shampoos well oh no no very 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 gentle wonderful highly recommend um, but, uh, yeah, that's what's going on. Oh, this morning, um, I have really been enjoying that creme brulee candle that I got at Kroger. I swear, the Tuscany Candles by Langley, FYI, they never disappoint. They never disappoint. I like burning that in the morning when I have my coffee. Um, it smells, it's like a hint of Christmas, but not overwhelmingly fa la 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 so you still get a little you still get a little cheer it's it's kind of coffee shop esque i really i really am enjoying that scent i don't actually enjoy creme brulee though it, it, it's a dessert i never liked um you know obviously it's not vegan uh but pre-vegan days I, I i never enjoyed creme brulee or flan for that matter didn't didn't care for either of those i know i know a blast for me just they, they're a little too eggy for my taste but I'm here. These are the Neutrogena Fragrance Tree Makeup Removal Wipes. They are not good for removing mascara, FYI, as I showed in a vlog a while back. But I have been keeping them in my car uh, to just wipe off my hands before I reapply sunscreen. Um, they're not ideal, but I think they're a, a little better than the um, than the hand sanitizer stuff. I don't like using that hand sanitizer and then touching my face. It's just all that fragrance. These are fragrance free and I'm I'm finding that they're they're somewhat decent. I'm reapplying today with this is a Neutrogena Healthy Healthy Defense um, SPF 50 sensitive skin. This is a win from Neutrogena um, if you guys aren't familiar with it. It is uh, an exclusively mineral sunscreen that is uh, fragrance free and I've already reapplied but I'm just doing it here again to 
to take you through what I think of it. It's fragrance free and um, you know, really moisturizing. I don't find that it's greasy. Um, it does leave a little bit of a cast, but uh, I think it's nice and I've been enjoying it. Oh, FYI, for those of you who are curious, I know a lot of you enjoy the Japanese sunscreens, but are are kind of on the fence about the alcohol content. This mommy one that I've been talking about and loving, it does not have any alcohol in it. Um, so I've, I've really been enjoying that one as well. But anyways, I'm just gonna. But yeah, it goes on pretty nicely. Not, not super casty. Um, not perfectly cast less, but um, I enjoy it. It's not heavy. It's not super greasy. Um, I prefer. I've been. I've been really loving though this baby one, our mommy, mommy one, the Japanese one for reapplication. It it goes on, you know, like a dream, and it's really wonderful. Really wonderful UVA protection. But anyways, I'm gonna buzz into. Ew! Check out these yes chips, sweet potato with black sesame. Imagine these are fried. Um, but that sounds like a winning combination. They also have roasted corn crisps. Mm. I like to say the music choice today in H Mart is really, really rocking. Oh, check out this cereal. Looks like it's, this is like a Korean, um, Korean Fruit Loops. <laughs> Cracker. It appears to only have one gram of sugar. How is that possible? The third ingredient is sugar. I suppose it's mostly just corn flour then, with some dye. So, <clears throat> so I'm over by the tea. Disclaimer, I have plenty of tea right now and I don't need any. I just finished up this corn silk tea. Oh, it's so good. If you like corn pop cereal, this stuff is amazing. Um, I really enjoyed it. I'm wondering what this one tastes like. Is that sweet? I think ginger corn tea. I can really imagine that's probably good. The barley tea is really good too. It's called uh, Bodhikai, I think is how you pronounce it. But whenever I hear that, I always think of that song. Bodhikai, Bodhikai. <laughs> but I suppose, it seems as though in Korea, uh, they will roast, slow roast, um, like corn and barley and make a tea out of it. That's really good fresh. You can get all the stuff here to do it. That's cool. Look guys. Holika Holika has an aloe facial cleansing foam. I assume this has fragrance in it, uh, but I did enjoy their um, soothing gel. I found this was effective as a shave gel, believe it or not. This is kind of expensive, $10 for this tiny little bottle. I bet this is nice, believe it or not. Centella Asiatica, that is... Uh, tiger grass. Well, hey guys, I just got back and I'm about to head to the gym, but let me show you what I snagged at H Mart. I mostly, you know, like I said, went in there for the shampoo, but I picked up a few, a few H Mart essentials. I, of course, had to get a bag of the shirataki noodles. Um, I'm really enjoying those ones that I get at Costco, but these are superior. The uh, shirikiku yam noodle, really love those. I also got a bag of my favorite sea tangle. This is just kelp noodles that I love to have um, in soup. They're nice and crunchy, and uh, they they have no taste. They're just they're just fun to eat, um, and uh, kind of in, in place of of pasta. And then I really love their pea sprouts. There, this bag is like only a dollar eighty. Uh, really inexpensive and delicious. Then I can't pass up my goji berries there. They're such a good value. They, get, they have the organic uh, dried goji berries. These, this bag lasts forever too. So went ahead and got another bag of that. And then I got um, my crazy shampoo. I wanted to try this scent this time. This appears to be aloe and grape. Um, and it has oat extract in it, aloe, grapeseed oil, Hydrolyzed wheat protein. Maybe that's why it's so moisturizing. I swear that my hair shafts are so much smoother and softer since I've started using this Gracie shampoo. This bag, um, I have a, um, 
I have a pump from from uh, the Muji store that I just refill. But this bag lasts me a couple of months, uh, and it's $8.99 at, at uh, H Mart, so not, not a bad deal. Then I also got some more Cotton Labo pads. I'm out of those, and I am experimenting with a overly hyped uh, skincare product that I'm going to review for you guys. Uh, I'm not going to tell you what it is, I know, big secret, but uh, Suffice it to say, yours truly is not the least bit impressed. So stay tuned for a uh, candid, no no holding back review as per usual, but you'll, you'll have to see what that is. But it does involve the use of these two-way Selena puffs. Then this was definitely a YouTube made me do it thing. Um, I saw Flip Side of the Moon, Christiana got these for her little boy. She's one of my favorite vloggers. She picked these up at her, um, at her Asian grocery store. They're supposed to teach children how to use chopsticks, and I just thought they were so adorable, I wanted one of my own. And so I got this little ducky character, Pororo. Pororo, I hope I'm saying that right, but how adorable are they? See, they've got little loopy doodles for the, the children to put their, put their cute little fingers through. I have very small fingers, so I'm sure my fingers will fit through there. Um, <laughs> and I just thought they were adorable, so I wanted some of my own, <laughs> even though I am not a toddler. So what? <laughs> but yeah, that's everything I got, so I'm going to run into the gym, and I'll check in with you guys later. Well, hey guys, what's up? I just finished up at the gym, and it is really getting hot. <laughs> um, I, my, the volume of sweat and perspiration that is occurring it is going up <laughs> in me with my exercise routine at night and I can tell it's it's a reflection of the of the heat is on um, but speaking of shower and cleansing I wanted to come back to um, this idea of body soaps I mentioned in the vlog with my mom the other day that I don't use soap on my body and people were like what blasphemy a while back I posted a video <clears throat> going over what's in my shower and you know expounding on why I don't use soap, but uh, there's really not a reason to use soap on a daily basis to the body. Uh, we are married to this idea that we need to cloak ourselves in a, uh, you know, flowery fragrancy surfactant every night. And, you know, we're wed to the idea, people are wed to the idea that this is somehow cleaning their skin. They feel clean when they do this. And it's, it's, a, false, it, it's a falsehood completely. You know, first of all, the sensation and the, the feeling of being clean is, is, is all a reflection of how the products are formulated to trick you into believing that they're doing something. Uh, soaps and body washes, they add things like mint to tingle. Ooh, tingling, that must be killing bacteria. No, mint does not really kill bacteria. You know, mint extract, you know, fragrance smells good. Ooh, I don't stink, um, you know, when I just get out of the shower. Well, I've got news for you. If you just rinse off and get out of the shower, you're not gonna stink. That, that flower water is doing nothing. So people are married to this idea that they have to cloak their body in, uh, in, their, in their skin in a lathery foam every night, which merely does nothing but disrupt the, the skin barrier and frequently by virtue of all the additives and soaps, whether they be natural, organic, handmade, whatever, are incredibly irritating and potential sources of allergens. And so that is why for me, I have abandoned using body soaps uh, several years ago. And you know, nobody tells me I stink. Um, and I, you know, I haven't had a, a skin infection. I don't have, you know, ongoing cellulitis or outbreaks of uh, you know, impetigo all over my body, I am fine without this unnecessary cleansing. And, you know, a further reflection of our marriage to soap is the fact that, you know, soap in and of itself is, like I said, incredibly irritating, harsh. Detergents are designed to disrupt the skin barrier so that they can take dirt particles with them. And so, because people are so wed to the idea of using soaps, it generated the soap, it, it spurred the soap industry to make all these gentle, mild, non-soaps, you know, like Dove is extra gentle, but they still have to, they still have to keep you in there. They still keep adding the fragrance and all of these other things. And, you know, if you stop and take pause, it's sort of like, what are we aiming to accomplish here? I'm telling you, absolutely nothing. 
There are, however, after I just went into that diatribe as to why I don't use soap, there are, however, instances and circumstances in which soap is helpful and in which body washes and soaps with particular active ingredients are helpful for particular skin conditions, skin concerns. Um, one that I've talked about in my back acne uh, videos and my acne videos for um, acne-like rashes on the back, the buttocks, uh, the body, using a 2% salicylic acid body wash in the shower to those targeted areas can be very helpful in controlling breakouts. Likewise, using a benzoyl peroxide containing body wash to those areas can be very, very helpful. Ideally, you lather it in those areas in the evening, in the shower, let it sit on the skin while you are in the shower for a few moments uh, to concentrate the active ingredient in the follicle, get good control, and then you rinse it off. My favorites are the Zabzit 2% BHA uh, face wash because it's one of the probably the only one out there that I found that is fragrance free. And then as far as a benzoyl peroxide wash is the uh, Panoxyl creamy creamy wash. I realize that these active ingredients aren't available in in other countries, and I apologize for that. I'm not entirely sure what an equivalent would be. Um, but, uh, you know, so that's an instant, in, instance in which using soap is helpful. Another BHA body wash is the Neutrogena Body Clear Body Wash Pink Grapefruit. I have used this, you know, long before I was a dermatologist or really knew about fragrance, and I, I really like it a lot. Um, it does have uh, fragrance in it, however. It's got, um, you know, citrus extract, grapefruit extract. It smells good, and it's fun to use, okay? So Neutrogena doesn't need to add this, this stuff in here to make an effective product, but they have to add this stuff in here to sell an effective product to, to people who need it because we're married to this idea that if we're not bathing ourselves in, in a foamy lather, you know, this has stuff added to it to make it foam, to make it lather, to make it feel good, to make your brain believe that you are cleansing. Um, and it smells good, you know, so it's all a trickery. And, you know, Neutrogena does not have a fragrance-free acne wash, a fragrance-free body wash uh, with salicylic acid for this reason. It's not going to sell, you know, uh, and so they, they they have to add that in there to sell an effective product, which is unfortunate. So, at the end of the day, I think if we increase demand for more fragrance-free products, I mean, keep commenting. I know a lot of you have fragrance allergy who watch who watch my videos, so. I don't know if Neutrogena has a chief listening officer, you know, these are people that brands hire to like um, spy and comments and things like that and, and keep their ears out for, for uh, you know, consumer feedback. Um, so if you're listening, <laughs> leave it out please, or at least make a line of fragrance-free exclusives for people with true fragrance allergy and for the rest of us who want to, to avoid it as an unnecessary ingredient, I, you know. I believe Neutrogena can do it well. They have many fragrance-free products that are phenomenal. You know, they're the Hydro Boost um, Extra Dry Sensitive Skin is great. You know, they don't need Neutrogena. You don't need you don't need that. You don't need that grapefruit in there. <laughs> you don't need it. Doesn't need to be pink to 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 work. Um, but you know, it, it's all in how and how consumers are wed to this idea of body soaps, body washes, cleansing. The other instance that I can think of off the top of my head is when it comes to uh, the summertime and you're wearing um, bug repellent and insect repellents, bug sprays. Um, I'm going to do a Q&A all on bug sprays and insect repellents for you guys, but those should be washed off with soap and water at the end of, you know, when you get home uh, for sure. So that is an instance to use soap. Um, but on an everyday ongoing basis, there is, there's really a no need to be using soap, um, you know, on the, le for, for example, the legs, there's really, you know, aside from washing off insect repellent from the skin of your legs, there is really no need on a daily basis to be bathing your legs in, in a, in a detergent that, that smells nice. It, it really, it really doesn't do much. There, the density of oil glands on the skin of, of the lower legs is, is quite low, um, you know, and it's, it's not like people have, people don't really suffer from acne breakouts like on their shins. So, but we're married to this idea that we need to clean, clean, clean. And, you know, that's, that can really, really set you up for dry skin on the legs. The forearms in particular, I mean, you know, not really a reason to, there's really no reason to go soaping that up on an ongoing basis. It just dries out the skin, trust me. It just, 
just makes your skin barrier, you know, have to do more work basically uh, to undo to to undo the the relationship that you have with soap. <laughs> but I hope that's helpful in just kind of explaining a little bit. I know I should probably go into more detail. I could do, you know, longer videos, Q and A's. Um, but uh, believe me when I say that this this marriage to soap, it really just keeps Unilever, um, you know, uh, eating well every night. And, and uh, he, the uh, CEO of Unilever's uh, daughters and sons, uh, well educated, you know, they probably have a top notch. Uh, education uh, thanks to uh, our marriage to their products of soap but anyways guys I hope you enjoyed the vlog today um, if you like this video give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and as always don't forget sunscreen and subscribe I'll talk to you guys tomorrow bye